Uh, first of all, a huge honor, and I, I do have I do have some of your books at home. Thank you. Unfortunately, like I was introduced to cricket by Englishmen, so I'm an English yeah. supporter from my students. I apologize for That's that. That's okay. How much of the yesterday's action have you? Ah, uh, well, I, I, well, we did have it on TV here, so but it was. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was a, why, why do I find out about this now? Yeah, it was yes. a great, great test match. So, like, and I, and I followed really closely. And the start of yesterday, I thought the game was 50-50 in the balance, and um, and we somehow won that test match. And it was um, you talk about chess and cricket. Yesterday's game, well, this whole test match has been like a game of chess. You know, strategically, it's going one way. All of a sudden, you think it was in one te team's favour, then it changes around. Someone makes a good move, and all of a sudden, the game changes. So. It was um, a true test match, and that's why a test match is so fantastic that you're not sure what's going to happen, and and, the, and someone with individual flair or brilliance can win the match. And that's Absolutely. what I'm used to. How much do you think this exercises the ghosts of four or five and, uh -huh. and, and that game? Uh, well, it probably does for Nathan Lyon because you know he he probably felt um, you know that that run out where he was involved in it, it didn't happen. Um, that was pretty um, that was pretty tough for him to take, I think, because he's such a great player. He commits 100. percent but for him to be involved in that partnership yesterday, um, I think that sort of, you know, it, it, make, it wipes the slate clean and now he's he's on with the, the task of being, um, you know, he's a fantastic cricketer. He's, he's one of the best bowlers in the world. And for him, that was important. Six away from 500. It's, uh, yeah. Great. Do, you, do you think he, he thought that would happen when he started? No, no, definitely not. I mean, he was um, he was sort of found, he was a net bowler, so he was just bowling to the Australian team. But, and someone sort of saw him and thought, well, this kid's um, got some talent. And all of a sudden, he gets an opportunity. Um so I can see, you know, that the Global Chess League, same sort of thing. That uh, you find this, these raw, raw talented uh, kids, give them an opportunity, and all of a sudden they blossom and turn into incredible superstars. So that's the good thing about giving someone opportunity. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, like, I can ask you cricket questions for the for, uh -huh. for days, but I don't know if, <laughs> if, if that's what yeah. what the organisation uh -huh. wants. But yeah, like yeah, yeah. for me, this is just a dream come true because yeah. I've. Uh, the O5 Ashes were the first thing I ever saw live, and oh. uh, that was a fantastic. So when did you first start watching cricket? Uh, I was introduced to it by an Englishman during the '99 World Cup, which is also something that oh, okay. you, a bit you, have, you have fun. Yeah, it's so, good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the first thing I ever watched was the first half of the India-Pakistan match of the '99 World Cup, and this is how I got hooked because yeah, yeah. I understood nothing at all of the game, but Amazing. just watching it, the atmosphere was. Yeah so unbelievable yeah, yeah. I thought I will be interested in this yeah, and, and I became very interested in it and you like so, test cricket or one day I, I am I am very much a test cricket oh, like I, I've, I've yeah. started following the IPL finally this year yeah. which is a bit late honestly yeah. Uh, but yeah I'm, and this is the question I for me the question that I wanted to ask you yeah. the most but you've, you've already sort of covered it yeah. but uh, are you worried with the direction the game the game is taking uh, yeah I am because um, test cricket to me is the purest form of the game and it's um and it's, you know, without that, I think uh, the other forms of the game won't be the same. Um, and obviously, 2020 is, uh, yeah, really important. It, it provides income for a lot of cricketers, gives opportunity, um, and the franchises now are happening. So the model of the game is changing a bit. Mm. But I just think the over the last five days, people can see how much how important Test cricket is and what it brings to people, and and how interested a lot of people are in watching Test cricket and following the game and how it changes and you can immerse yourself in it and get involved. Um, I think as players too, they, they still want to know how good they are at playing cricket. The only way they can find out is by testing themselves over five days. Um, 2020 is financially great and it's exciting and it, um, yeah. it gives people opportunity, but as long as they protect test cricket, I'll be happy. Yeah, and then that's obviously a conversation we could have for for, for, yeah. for quite some time because yeah, the, the, whether they are currently protecting test cricket enough is, mm. is very unclear, but the match is like like yesterday, they should be a fantastic advertisement for the format because, uh, yeah, yeah I've, I've, we had sure. to do some dry runs huh. while they were getting the final 40 yesterday, and I yeah. was so heartbroken. Yeah, I'm sorry, so you're like, I, yeah. I just couldn't be there. Because yeah, well, I was, in the, I was in a hotel room thing, and I can't find the TV channel, so uh, yeah, but I, I just knew the um, what the atmosphere would have been like and how tense it would have been, and yeah. you know, and you see. Yeah, you know, personalities come out under pressure to see how they can handle the pressure and, mm. and who comes through. So it's really um, interesting to watch. Yeah. How? Once again, yeah. But probably if, like we were really suggesting something that happened 18 years ago. But like, how was the mood in in the dressing room when when you see, see saw the replays and saw that the the, the the hand wasn't on the bat handle? Which was that? With, with the Casperich catch. All oh, right. Yeah. Well, I wasn't part of that because I was watching at home in Australia. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. Do, 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 I mean, Kasprich himself said he was okay with it because as a yeah, yeah. Ah, it's one of those crazy rules in Korea. We have a lot of rules that don't make any sense. Um, it's just um, one of those things. If, it, if you get the bat off the handle and 
hits your glove, it's it's supposed to be not out, but as cricketers, you basically know it's out. So that's why he would have accepted because yeah. as a cricket player, you think, well, hit my glove, that's out. And yeah, but the the, the, the drama of it, the drama of it all, yeah. is just so so fantastic. And that yeah. I think is what we've seen yesterday as well with yeah. the drop catches with like with a third well, to get. And yeah, that's right. You, you know, in Test cricket, there's going to be twists and turns. That's never simple. And I don't know whether it's the same in chess, but you can never take anything for granted when you're about to win a game because something can happen quickly and it, it totally changes around. So, yeah, just from experience, I knew yesterday it would have been last 50 runs, there was going to be many twists and turns. Both sides were going to have opportunities. And it was really up to who could keep ahead and keep cool under pressure who's going to win it. Yeah, and, and this is this is where those subjects you've already talked to, those Shagar with, they, they become so, so important. The the ability to focus, the ability for, yeah. to focus for longer periods of time to yeah. kind of uh, go into a shell a bit, a little, uh, I guess, and just play your best game. And yeah, you obviously you are one of the, the best people in the world to talk about this, but this has already been, been yeah. covered, so I don't know. Yeah, well, I think um, in cricket, you got to have the ability to switch off to, and I don't know what it's like in chess, but in between balls, Greg, you've got to totally almost disengage and relax so then you can focus when you need to. So if you concentrate the whole day in test cricket, you'll be mentally drained and you won't perform. So that's something I learned was to switch off between deliveries and then when I needed to, mm. switch back on. So I don't know whether it's the same in chess, whether you're totally that's engrossed in it. That's something I do, and I generally get a lot of flack for it. Okay. <laughs> because I, I, I think the, the accepted thinking in chess is that you are supposed to be switched on all the time. But yeah. for me, I've, I've always found that... Uh, yeah. mm, Taking taking breaks, taking a walk, and just sort of yeah, as, as you said, in disengaging for a bit, and then going back yeah, to yeah. Uh, to full on concentration works uh, mm. works better. But yeah, yeah, it's, each to their own. But I think um, you can get fatigued if you're concentrating the whole time at a certain level. So absolutely, you, you know. need a bit of a break. Yeah. All right, I got, don't want to to talk to you. Yeah, thank you very well, much. Do quite some chess questions later on, privately, so I should learn. Sure, of course. Yeah. All right.